that you really feel that you're losing the fun. And back again, and back, oh. and back. Yeah, let him wait. Let him, when you feel she wants to go already, just wait. Just wait. There. Okay, good. Yeah, because you see, after time I say, she wants, oh, I go, I go. And she has to wait until she says, okay, now I come with your leg. There. That you feel she gets a little bit lazy. And then you come with your leg, and then she must be active again. And yeah. what, we have a little message for you here, and in the meantime I can tell a little about the horses. Den mørkbrune, næsten sorte hoppe, som John Valsø Sammenrider, er årets hoppe fra 2010, guldmedalje hoppen Sierra Pitt efter Blue Horse Hotline. Og det er en hoppe, som er blevet sat i gang i 2014, og som er blevet sat i gang i 2014, og som er blevet sat i gang i 2014. Hvad I lige skulle sidste år blev hun som sagt tildelt guldmedalje og udnævnt til årets strukturbetonede hoppe. Og den røde hoppe, som Louise Søgaard rider, og altså Henrik Hansen i solrød, hun er efter Blue Horse Rummernoff med Don Frederico, den tyske hanoraner hens til morfar. Hun har i 2010 fået følge efter fuldslåsringelsen Bakkevær. Og desværre skete der det med hoppen, at hun fik tarmstykke også i 2010, og derfor er hun ikke helt uddannet øh, på, på det normale niveau for en femårig hoppe. Så det er jo vigtigt at huske på, at det er unge heste, vi har med at gøre. Okay, thank you. I didn't understand anything, but I think he's ready now. Okay, Louisa. Just try it because sometimes it's 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 getting better and then you lose it <coughs> lose it again. So here, off. don't try to hang on the reins, but really hold hold back to walk walk walk. Schritt. Walk. Yeah. Okay. And then no, don't squeeze. Watch out when you walk. You are start squeezing with your leg. So take your leg off because he wants to go already forward. So don't do too much with your leg then. And then fall again. And when you bring her back to work, no leg. Really, yeah, feel that she gets a little bit lazy there. And make, there, good. And fall again. Okay, there, that's better. Just want to have a little bit simple in the in, in the trot. Because we know you can trot like that. We saw that when you came in. Watch out. Oh my. Good that she didn't saw it. Okay, and then trot again. Just let her slot trot really small. It's important that you can let trot there. Good. It's just something that they also have to learn. And because they can learn to be have a big trot, but it's also important we can have it small. There, that's better. Don't squeeze with your leg. Keep your leg off. There, good. Because when you want to bring it back, and you come with your leg also, then the horse doesn't know what you mean. Because your leg stay forward, and your hands stay still, then come back. So be aware what you're doing, eh? And bring her back again. Bring her back to walk, walk. Yeah, that's better. Good. And trot again. Just make a lot of those transitions that you feel okay, I get more control. It's it's a boring job, but it's important. Eh? It's when you have the control now and then it's for later on, it's much better. Okay, John, maybe we can do a little bit canter. And then I also want to have a little bit the same in the canter, like go a little bit forward, bring it back in the canter. And you don't have to really collect it because she's only four years old. But just that you can see the difference between riding forward and riding back a little bit. That you feel that you... Yeah, okay. And make a decision to trot again and try to canter again. With a young horse it's maybe better to trot a little bit more forward on the surface. That you feel the tempo is going up a little bit. And then like she, she almost canters herself a little bit. And that you feel when you want to go into canter, that she goes forward in the canter. That's better. Good. And then you can afterwards, you can bring her back a little bit in the tempo. And a little bit there. Good. And then the same as you did in the trot. See if you can let her drop the neck a little bit more. And then relax your hand. That you don't have the feeling that you have to hold her there. But that she wears her, that she carries her hand herself. A little bit louder, a little bit there, and relax again. Good, that's better. Okay, that's what I want to see. That you really can sometimes really let the reins loose, 
and that they are almost hanging loose and the horses still can bring on as you want and it doesn't change. There, that's good. Okay, and then let her come back a little bit more. Yeah, okay, oh, that doesn't matter. Just make your trot first good before you go into camper. When this kind of things happen, just be sure your trot is good before you canter again. Oh, first a little bit forward. Okay. Good. And bring it back again. Just a little bit. Good. Yeah, and canter again. Now I want you not to go and make a decision to, to trot, but just stay in the canter. Yeah, that you don't have to drop out, but just stay in the canter. But make, still make some tempo changes, eh? that you feel you can go forward a little bit back. Okay, there, good, and forward again. And then follow the track and then go a little bit more forward. That you really feel she wants to go forward, but keep her lower in the neck, a little bit lower. There, good, that's good. And then bring her back again. Make her rounder again and relax your hand. Good, that's good. Every time when you get a good reaction on your hand, relax. That he knows, okay, that's good there. Yeah, that's better. Okay, good. And then you make a transition to trot again. And I really feel that she just keeps on going forward in the transition. There, that's good. Okay. And bring her a little bit back again. Okay, Louise, does it feel good for having a small canter too? Yeah? I think it's best to stay first on the circle somewhere that you get a little bit feeling how she is. Try to let her drop it, yeah, okay. And then you have to watch out because you're like, like that when you're going to camp. Relax your hand a little bit in between. I can understand when you, when you have the feeling she want to take off that you hold her a little bit, but watch out when it's good, try to relax. Eh? Watch your leg, not so much leg. Okay, there, good. Let her, yeah, let her look a little bit inside to the left, there. And then relax your inside hand, relax. Your left hand a little bit like that, forward. Yeah, there, good. Okay, that's good. And relax, man. Relax, relax. There. You just can see, you don't have to hold it. Of course, at the start, you think, oh, she will take off. And when it gets better, then you have for you, you said, okay, I can relax, and the horse relax. There. That's much better. Good. Okay, then you make a transition to trot again. And then really, don't let him trot hard, really slow. If you feel you have control, make a transition to trot. Yeah, good. And relax your hand. Really relax. There. That's good. Okay, and canter again. Okay, and relax, and relax there. Just when you want to canter, don't do it with your whole body, but do it with your leg. Eh? And when he's cantering, you relax again. Okay, follow the track. Don't go straight on. And when you feel she wants to run too much, just make a big circle again. Yeah? Good. That's bad. And relax your hand. Don't hold it there. There. That's good. That's important, especially for young horses, that they learn to, to canter or whatever, to move on their own legs. And that's because you are holding them in the front. Good. That's better. Okay. And bring it back again. Yeah. Make a circle. Make a circle. Make a big circle here. Okay. There. Good. And relax. Relax. I don't mind when she drops out of the can, right? Yeah, yeah, there. Good. That's better. Okay. And then make a transition to your to the trot yourself. Good. There, good. And then now she, you can ride a little bit forward now. Because now she gets a little bit more relaxed and then you can start riding a little bit more. Don't hold her, don't hold her. Relax your hand in between. We have two minutes left. Okay. Good, and bring it back again. Bring it back. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, bring it back more. Ooh, oh, hold. Hold. Ooh. Yeah, and hold. No leg. There, yeah, and then you trot on again. When you feel she doesn't really react, just bring it back to hold, and then start all over again. Yeah, and trot again. Because when they get strong and you start hanging on the reins, it gets even worse. Eh? Okay, and back to walk now. Walk. Walk. There, good, yeah, and trot again. Okay, that's better. Okay, maybe John, you can put her up uh, a little bit higher now, and then do it a little bit 
sitting trot, and then you can let her trot a little bit more. This way you want to bring her back, that she comes a little bit higher in the front. Bring her back, bring her back. There, and then forward again. Then come with your leg. Come, there, and back, and back. Ooh. Bring her back a little bit. Good. And when she reacts, she comes up in the front, relax your hand, and then come with your leg. And go a little bit forward now. Good. And bring it back again. Ooh. There, that's good. Okay, and now you can let her drop the neck all the way down. If you really stretch out the neck, because that's not so even important when you get them up and down wherever you want to have them, eh? that's important. Okay, that's good. And let's stretch, let her stretch out the neck a little bit more. There, yeah, that's good. Okay. Yeah, and make it rounder again. Good, but because that's very important for young horses, eh? that you can do a lot of tempo changing eh? in the trot, in the canter, and even in the walk. And when they get more used to that, then everything gets much easier. Maybe the reason you can also try to let it stretch out the net a little bit more. I can understand it's difficult, but just try to give them a little bit more rain. There, good. That's good. Don't squeeze with your leg. Keep your legs out. Yeah. That's good. And relax your head. There. That's good. And that's the way when you have them like in an arena like this, it's always important to get the horses first relaxed. Because when they know I go in a big arena and they get stressed all the time, then it's also difficult for a competition. Eh? That's why this is a good job for the young horses just to learn it here and you can stay in a little bit longer until they are relaxed. And that's good. So next time maybe she's already a little bit more relaxed because she knows nothing is going to happen. So that's good. Okay, and then see if you can make a transition to walk. Yeah, and then let her stretch out the neck, but keep a little bit of contact, yeah? Because now you feel she wants to run in the walk, and then bring her back a little bit also in the walk. Yeah. She can keep, keep also the control in the walk. Okay, then I come back a little bit. Yeah, good. Yeah, and bring her back again, because there she's taking all the way. Okay. Just have a sign that it's finished for you to do. Yeah, but I think, yeah, I don't know if it's any, when the people want to applaud, then maybe you can pick up your reins a little bit before they stop clapping. Because I think for young horses it's always important that they have, they must have a good trust in the ring like this. So maybe it's better not to applaud, just afterwards somewhere you like, get out or something like that. Because then now she's quiet and when she starts applauding, it's all, you have to start all over again and we just don't have the time. But do you know a little bit what I mean with a lot of them and that you relax a little bit more yourself because you're a little bit like, oh, he's taking off. And just see if you can relax the reins and be a little bit more relaxed yourself. I can understand it's difficult, but it's just something you have to remember every time you feel as you get strong. Or just bring it back, relax my hand, and then it gets better. And also in the walk, just let it come back a little bit more. Yeah, that you have control over it. And also for you, John, it's important with her, I think, that you don't have him always like too high in the neck. And sometimes you can make a little bit rounder. And then also sometimes you can really put him in a competition frame where you want her. But also at the end, see that you can make him a little bit rounder in the neck that she really gets to move through all of her body. And then it's nice. Because it's a nice mare. They are both nice mares. They are completely different. But I think they're both very nice mares. Okay, I don't know if the next one wants to come in, then you can maybe go out and the next one come in. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you to the two runge hopper, the four Siri Kit, and the John Sauer, and the four year old Dion. Oh yeah, small applause maybe is good. And the four year old Louise Søgaard. Yeah, and they get used to it. And then every week you get a bigger applause and then they get used to it. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs>